LabVIEW first searches for a VI in memory. If the VI is in memory, LabVIEW opens that version. If the VI is not in memory, LabVIEW uses the VI search path to locate the VI. If LabVIEW cannot find the VI, you can select a VI of any name from the file dialog box. LabVIEW replaces all instances of the missing VI with the VI that you select. If you want to open a different version of a VI already in memory, the versions must have different names. In this video, we will learn the steps that we need to undertake to add a new directory to the VI search path. So let's go. Let's go to the tools menu. From there, let's go to the options and wait for the options dialog box to appear. Once the options dialog box appears, let's go to the paths category. From there, from the path chooser, let's select VI search path. Next, what we need to do is to remove this check mark from use default option so that these options become available. Now we can use this button, default browse button to select a VI or we can click this down pointing arrow uh, to select some folders that LabVIEW already recognizes. But let's go and browse for our own folder. Press browse button. Select a folder that you would like to add. Press select folder and it appears in the uh, text box. Now, this path that we have selected, LabVIEW will only go inside this path and not browse through the subfolders that it contains. If you want LabVIEW to also search inside the subfolders, you need to add a static which can be followed which can follow the the backslash to specify that lab you should go and search for within the subfolders of this folder also now we can use insert before to insert this item before the selected item or insert after to select it after this item or replace it so we can insert it before since I am on Windows so it's only accept going to accept uh, the uh, the back back backwards uh, slash so now that it's inserted we can also press this remove button if suppose nothing was selected here and we would go and then press remove then LabVIEW will insert the name in this text box so that if we change our mind then we can reinsert it before after or replace functionality then if we are done then we would press the OK button and we would have to restart LabVIEW so that the changes will commit to the system. Thanks for your visit and your time and please do keep visiting for more LabVIEW related videos. Thanks for watching.